I'm Margie Orford um, and I'm just doing a tribute to Salman Rushdie who I got to know very well when I was president of Penn in South Africa. He was always so supportive of any case, um, anything that we were doing, he would just be on the other end of an email. So my experience of him as a defender of the truth and speaking your mind and speaking about different things as you see fit goes back a long way. So today thinking about Salman, I'm going to read from Languages of Truth, um, Essays 2003 to 2020 by Salman Rushdie. The creative act requires not only freedom, but also the assumption of freedom. If creative artists worry if they will still be free tomorrow, then they will not be free today. If they are afraid of the consequences of their choice of subjects or of their treatment of those subjects, then their choices will not be determined by talent, but by fear. If we are not confident of our freedoms, then we are not free. Great art, or let's just say more modestly, original art, is never created in a safe middle ground, but always at the edge. Originality is dangerous. It challenges, questions, overturns assumptions unsettles moral codes, disrespects sacred cows or other such entities. It can be shocking or ugly, or to use the catch-all term so beloved of the tabloid press, controversial. And if we believe in liberty, if we want the air we breathe to remain plentiful, plentiful and breathable, this is the art whose right to exist we must not only defend but celebrate. Art is not entertainment, at its very best, it is a revolution.